Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I'm covering Below Deck Med, Season 5, Episode 16, Cool as a Cucumber. Or as I like to call it, another episode that really pissed me off. Let's get into it. So we pick up where we left off at the club in Ibiza. And Rob is showing Aisha some trick with the suction on her hand with a can. Well, Jess just loses it. She gets so jealous and starts being just awful. Uh, this is something we've seen. She can't handle it. She's jealous. I mean, believe me, he's a shit bag too, but she's completely jealous. And I think these two morons deserve each other. <laughs> so she's looking for a fight and I feel like he's looking to break up with her. And so they get into this whole stupid thing over Aisha and He's saying, maybe it's not to, meant to be then. So she goes out and then he goes for this weird walk at 3 a.m. He comes back. She's like, really? Hello? And he's ignoring her. It's so stupid. They're both drama queens. Again, they deserve each other. They're, I mean, they seriously are like teenagers here arguing. She's like crying loudly in the bed. He's ignoring her. We wake up. She's staring at him. So that's where you are, just completely going to ignore me. So, me, me, me. So he says they want, he wants to take a breather. And she's like, you don't care. And he's like, I do care. I think it's a contest to see who can be more like pouty and pensive. He's like, maybe I'm not enough for you. It's just so silly. So it's the next day. They're having the preference sheet meeting. We find out this entre entrepreneur is coming on. He <laughs> deals with college admissions, which makes me laugh with all the shit going on in the world. Um, and he seems like a douche. Moving on. Jess is walking around the boat being pouty. Rob's walking around the boat being pouty. Everybody's like, oh my God, let's get over this. Bugs is trying to help. She's giving hugs. But really, she's thinking, please get your head back in the game. She's sitting down with Jess. She's going to go get Rob. Look, Rob's got his arm around Bugs. I'm surprised Jess didn't beat her ass for that. <laughs> so she's encouraging them to talk. They just have a staring competition of sad, sad eyes. Oh, I feel, I don't feel bad for them. Again, they deserve each other. <laughs> Almost as much as Malia and Tom deserve each other. My God, we'll get into them next. So they're just having a pout off. I don't know what's resolved. It sounds like the relationship is definitely going to make it. They're saying, I love you. Of course, that was sarcasm. Um, we see Malia in the galley because that's where Malia lives now. Did we ever see her in the galley before Tom joined? No, not really. But that's where she lives. Aisha's working on the windows here. And Jess kind of crawls up and even has to be dramatic here. She lays on the floor. I feel so sick. So that way, you know, more attention from Rob. She ends up telling Aisha that Rob thought I was jealous of you and him talking, but that wasn't it. That was totally it. And Aisha, I love Aisha, says, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that's my Aisha impression. I love her. I feel so bad for her this episode because she's having to deal with this bullshit She's homesick, and this shit with Tom later, it's just terrible. So I feel for Aisha. Finally, Bugs comes and drags Jessica up to the to clean some more. And one of the few times Malia's actually on the d deck and not in the kitchen. She's showing them how the ropes work or something. Captain Sandy loses her thrusters, so she, there's beeping, and she's freaking, and... She's talking about if she doesn't get them back, there's a good chance she'll hit something. And oh, goodness. It seemed very dramatic. I would not aim for that big boat right there because that seems super expensive. <laughs> so the engineer helps reset it. it. Sounds like it's a breaker. They got it fixed. All good. Then Jess and Rob are back all over each other because, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, provisions arrive, and here's where we start to see Tom being a dick. He didn't get what he was looking for, missing some muscles, uh, just being pissy. I love seeing this walk-in freezer, by the way, or refrigerator. I just thought it was so interesting to see. It's just weird. He's being a pouty bitch here. It all gets resolved. It's all fine. It was a miscommunication or a mistake. It's fine, but he can't let it go, and he keeps being a baby about it. We see this theme come up later with him. 
Then we see these college scandal douchebags arrive. Huh, almost single. <laughs> anyway. So they're greeted. They're not very interesting yet. It looks like next week is where things get really interesting with them. This weird scene of Jess peering through a window at Rob. It was very strange. And Malia's saying, we got to keep an eye on him. And by that, she means when she's not in the galley with Tom. And speaking of that, hey, she has time to make a latte for her and Tom. How good for her. That's really cool. She's in the Captain Sandy school of hovering. So the guests decide they want to do ultimate frisbee. They're taking the group along with some of the crew over to drop them off at the beach to play. I was shocked that Malia was one of the ones going until I realized, nope, she's not. She's just dropping people off. So that way she can be back to help Tom, you know. Her job. We see everybody playing ultimate frisbee and uh, there's a scene here with Rob and Jess where they're taking a walk down the beach. Aisha comes up, throws her arm around Jess and is making a joke about, hey you guys will be in Bali and I'll be the third wheel. And we see jealous Jess making a face because she can't let anything go. And Bugs is setting up for a Spanish tapas meal, and she and Alex continue to flirt, which I think is so cute. I hope they work out. And then it's time to go pick back up the guests and the crew from playing Frisbee. Everybody joins the boat again. And we see Aisha taking a break. She happens to be sitting next to Rob. Oh, no, they're having lunch. And Jess says, I've given up. So Tom has this tapas menu all ready to go. Aisha's trying to help deliver it. She accidentally drops two little pieces of toast off. And he says, she's good at this, isn't she? Dick. So the rest of the crew is hanging out. That's where we see Bugsy saying, I'm going down for my break. That's, I can't do it, Bugsy. And at the same time, Tom says, I'm going down for a break. And hey, what a coincidence, Malia went down for a break. Well, I'm shocked by that, you guys. They do some weird sex stuff. And we see that it's Jess and Aisha left to take care of the guests. One of the guests comes into the kitchen. She's looking for some cucumber. And all I could think of is Corinne from The Bachelor, if you ever watched that. Her nanny prepares her cucumbers for her. Meanwhile, we see a totally normal shot of how Jess is interacting with the guests. Sure, she's the one that gets jealous a lot. I'm just reminding you. Um... So they knock on the door for Tom, Captain Sandy does, and wakes him up, and he is a shithead. Believe me, I understand. I'd be mad at Captain Hover, Sandy, uh, about this, because it is shitty. He does deserve a break, but this is bullshit. He takes it out on Aisha, and it's so unfair, and it really ticked me off. And I realized right then why he and Malia are together, because they're both dickheads. Aisha was doing her job entertaining the upstairs people, came downstairs to make sure everything was okay, and found out that he had been woken up. She knew he was going to be a dickhead to her, as he was, and he ended up saying, You don't have the ability to slice a cucumber? Aisha says it was Sandy who woke him. Tom is bitching about it, no break. There's, and then he keeps saying there's no point in apologizing. And Aisha says, No, I'm just saying it wasn't my fault. And Tom says, all right, whatever you're saying, thank you. And Aisha says, don't be mad at me. Tom starts laughing. Aisha says, I promise I had nothing to do with it. And Tom says, really, I'm not interested. And Aisha says, why are you pissed at me? Tom says, I'm not pissed at you. I'm pissed at the situation. Bullshit. Aisha says, uh, she goes up to deliver the plates. Of course, this high maintenance guest asks for avocado. She goes to get it and says, I can do it, because obviously he's in a shit mood. He goes, oh, F off. Just give me the avocado. Don't try and do it now. And Aisha says, what's the problem? She starts to get upset and starts crying, saying she had nothing to do with it. And he says, calm down with the waterworks. Oh, that would set me off. That is awful. What a terrible thing to say. What a shitty person he is. So Aisha's upset and she asks Bugsy to come talk to her. And that's how the episode ends. Ugh, so infuriating. So we see a flash and next time the douchebag guests want a naughty dinner party. So yeah, it's a whole thing. There's Speedos involved. It's gross. We see Rob and Jess pretty much getting it on. Emily come to breaking them up. 
Uh, the guests, instead of giving a tip, it looks like they give, he gives them cards to go to dinner. That would be a first, not getting a tip. But maybe the editors are playing with this. He gave those out and then ended up giving a big wad of cash. We'll see. Then we see that somebody's going to get promoted to lead deckhand. I'm guessing it's Alex. And Tom's throwing a hissy fit about something else. Who knows? And Captain finally puts her foot down with Malia and says, Get out of the galley! And Malia says, He's gonna walk! And she's like, Let him walk! And we'll see. Nothing will come of it, I'm sure. And that is it for the episode. I actually thought it was a good episode. It was just really infuriating, especially with the Tom stuff and Rob and Jess. They lock them in a room together, let them annoy each other. <laughs> I love Aisha. I just don't like her to be sad or feel down. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm covering this last week of Beverly Hills. Woohoo! Glad to let them go. And uh, covering New York and Potomac. Potomac is so good. Be sure to get on that. And I'm about to start Ladies of London. So if you haven't watched that, get on that because we'll be talking about that. I'm so excited to cover that. And yeah, leave me a comment below. I love reading your comments. And you can find me on Twitter at Real Recaps. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.